Sup guys, how are we? What is going on? And welcome back to another video. Today's date is uh, Wednesday the 23rd of December at 7.25 a.m. And for once, Queenstown, well, not for once actually, this happens all the time, but since I've been here, Queenstown has turned the weather on every single day. Today we've got a day of rain. Today we've got a day of overcast cloud. And I'm not saying I mind it. I do like a little bit of cloud, a little bit of cool weather with rain every now and then. Take the wind out of it, the wind can fuck off because that's when it gets icy. But as far as, you know, a little bit of cloud cover, a little bit of weather that I'm not gonna get burnt to a crisp if I go outside and I'm gonna take it. Now, in today's video, we're looking at Chris Godwin. It's a player that, look, if it's this player right here, if it's this guy, I've seen him on the list talk about other players, but I have no idea about the guy himself. And that's what makes this exciting. So as far as I can see so far, Larry Fitzgerald, the absolute legend from the Arizona Cardinals, is giving Chris Godwin praise. He's number 38 on the list. He must be good. In fact, he's, he's a good 20 places above Larry Fitzgerald on this list this year. And um, I guess that says it all. Let's get into it, guys. What did he say? I love seeing little interactions like that, I really do. You probably say his name to some people, they'd be probably still like who is that or like have to question it and that guy's a legit baller like ain't no more have to question it, and people are going to know his name so, soon enough Chris Godwin, now if this is the guy that i think it is he has a very you know recognizable face in fact i've, I've seen him a fair few times on this list giving his input on the other players and, and every single time i see his face i want to say something i want to say that reminds me of a frog Became a household name in week two when he had eight catches for 120. I'm not yards. being mean. I'm just being honest. Chris Godwin, he is having. A He's wearing Tom Brady's today. number, by the way. He topped that two weeks later. He's got like nine catches. Like Hang on, what did he get? Sorry. Came in week two when he had eight catches for 121 yards. Chris Godwin, he 15 is yards per catch. Today, today. He topped that two weeks later. He's got like nine catches. Like 120. Excuse me, dude's name is Chris Godwin. And he finished the day with 12 catches for 100. What did he say, Goff? Like 120. Two weeks later. Dude's got like nine catches. Like 120. Excuse me, dude's name is Chris Godwin. And he finished the day with 12 catches for 172 yards. Wow. Must have got a thousand yards for the year, surely. Godwin had 577 yards after the catch in 2019. Second best among NFL wide receivers. After the catch. He tough. He take hits. Like, he somehow always stays on his feet. Like, like he got good back. I'm like, Beat him. Contact balance every time he gets hit out the route. That's why he having so many yak yards. <laughs> you know, I think that's something that I pride myself on. Yak yards. Now, if this was a year ago, I probably wouldn't have had any clue what he's talking about. But I'm going to say he means Y A C, and that means yards after contact. <laughs> Just like that. Six four, six five, like Mike. You know, I'm not 230 pounds, but I feel like with me, it's a mentality. Okay, now nah, it's a different guy. This is not the guy I talked about. He doesn't look like a frog, or does he? Where you get these hands from, man? Talk to them, bro. Yeah, man, listen, I'm out here working. Man. In his last year wearing number 12, Godwin was targeted 121 times. He dropped just one. This will make Tampa's new number 12 smile. Chris, man, CGI, I see him. He catches everything. You know, Coach always says anywhere around him. Is CGI. Him, so his hands is incredible. CGI, is that what he said? Tampa's new number 12 smile. Chris, man, CG, I see him, he catches everything, you know. CG, I see him, he catches everything. Is that is that three different sentences? Coach always says. Or is his nickname CGI? Went around and just his ball, so his hands is incredible. Godwin takes a crossing route to the house! I knew he was going to be one of the best receivers in the game, uh, just given the opportunity. 
just not as good as me. Is that what you're gonna say? Chris had some. If Chris Godwin is six foot four or above, that means that the Buccaneers have two towers for wide receivers. Six foot one. Okay, six foot one. I'm not gonna go down that rabbit hole. Let's continue. Amazing catches against Atlanta. Oh, what? You're fucking joking, you know, bro. That's that. Behind him, he just stuck his hand out and still got hit by the corner and bottom there. Like, you know, guys ain't doing that. I don't know how it happened. I don't know how he caught it. Just somehow ended up in his hands. Great catch. Just a spectacular play. That's like, unbelievable, bro. Just putting on a show. I don't know why everybody was just like, wow. That's God's plan. That. At the time, I didn't think it was that like impressive of a catch, and then I saw it on film. I was like, all right, I, I kind of see what guys were talking about. Chris Godwin having a career game today. I like that kid, man. Chris Godwin got a bright future, you know. Look out for that guy, man. Oh hell yeah! How long's he been in the league? Not that long. He's 24. Fuck, he's a baby. Pick number 84 in the third round of the 2017 draft. He's been at the Bucks ever since. Made his first Pro Bowl last year. And also second team all pro. What's the speed? 442. That'll do. 36 inches on the vertical, 10 foot 6 on the broad jump, 19 reps on the bench press, 6 foot 1, 95 kg. He's not going to tower over corners, but he's certainly going to have the speed and the hops to do some damage. Okay. I'm going to leave it there. That's a name that we're going to hear more of. And as they mentioned in that video, it's, it's not surprising if you actually don't know who he is. But now I do. Now I do. But it's, it's, it's still not that guy that I thought it was. I'm not sure if he's actually going to be on the list or not. If he, if he is, I'm going to be excited. I'm actually going to get right behind him. Because I called him a frog. But to be fair, looking here at who's next, we've got Jalen Ramsey. And uh, look, if I'm, if I'm comfortable with calling anyone a name like a frog, it'd be Jalen Ramsey because at the end of the day, he don't give a shit. He don't care what you say. He has supreme confidence and that's how he plays. And there's some who will hate him for it and some who will love him for it. On a good day, I love him for it. On a bad day, I hate him for it. But he backs it up on the field and he's number 37 on the list of the top 100 players of 2020. So guys, if you've liked this video, please like it. If you're looking forward to the next one, stick around and I'll see you then. Peace out guys. Have a great day.